It was Randy who gave me a haircut. Randy Random. He said, you know what? I can give you the best random haircut you can get. I was like, yeah, dude. Let's go. Let's give this a try. Hi, Wording Beacon. Hello. One day we'll come back. One day we'll come back. Another high warning beacon. Well, well, well. That will be a perfect way to get our ships killed. You're friendly now, huh? Did you see what kind of ships we have? Hmm. There. <laughs> Baby Yoda. Indeed, great haircut story. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look, I, I am really aiming to be like a veteran looking uh soldier from uh rim world especially now that i lost my tooth over here that i pulled out last week i'm i'm getting there you know i'm missing a tooth i got a i got a proper raider haircut I got baby yoda over here uh hello why do you have that on i don't remember wanting to talk to you Okay. Got committed to RP for Star Sector. Hell yeah, dude! Hey, what? Are we are we not friends? With Diable? Oh, they're inhospitable. Oh, of course they are. They're not enemies. Oh fuck. Hmm, all well, Diablo boys, I never actually wanted to be here anyway. I'm just being a Skrillex. Skrillex from Wish. <laughs> Wait, what do you have against Skrillex? Uh, we can go to Spindle. How do you feel about me? Just neutral. Alright, let's go to Spindleinius. Who doesn't like some scholar tech designs? Look, if you guys are not gonna commit to Star Sector RP, then I have to be the one to do it. Just the way it is. Just the fucking way it is. We're still making money from the dogs. Which is lovely. All right, hello friends. Yes, you have the best caller out there. Kind of cool. Who's flying out here? Patrol duty? Mm-hmm. All right, uh, I need your fuel. GIF. All of your fuel. All y'all. I'm gonna save my cores, even though they're not the bestest of them cores. We're gonna save them. All right, that should give us more than enough fuel to fly over here to Corvus, where we have all the rest of our stuff stuffed. Also, indeed. There's one ship in Spindle that you really have to buy, it's the Sky Class. You see, I, I not long ago, I played with uh, Scholar Tech as my main faction. This was uh, like a YouTube playthrough. And I wasn't like the biggest fan of Sky, gotta admit. It's a it's a cool ship for sure. It was my main ship. I don't know, I guess it was prefer a personal preference. And it was also hard to actually get. It was never there. It was only on like their special market that they have. Yeah, Scholar Tag ships are awesome. They look awesome. Although like, we were kicking ass all over the place. Remnants, though. Remnants did, did kick our ass, because... Skaltrek do have solid shields, but when the shields pop... There's... There's nothing left. What is below, or beneath the shields... We just melted. Since... You know... It wasn't that hard for Remnants. So we had some big battles against Remnants there. Alright. Yeah, I knew we had one of these Styrix things over here. Give me that. Now, we can fit those in. Oh, these are way more expensive. Holy shit. Holy balls in the chopstick. But I wanted to fit them in. 
to see how it looks. Now we have more kinetic. Wow, <laughs> the flux is just fucking hell. Oh, dude, these have very long range. Do we have any flak over here? Excuse me. Any flak at all? What what happened? To all the goddamn flak stuff. Why? Why is there no flak? It's high tech for you. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Well, let's see what it can do. Let's fly against a conquest, maybe. And now it also has a captain, so there's that. There goes the shotguns. Yeah. That's the conquest. The conquest PD is doing okay against the annihilators. And this bad boy is having a hard time chasing it. Baby Yoda, why are you falling down, buddy? I don't know why it wouldn't use its systems to close in. Like, we have a reckless or even aggressive officer doing this. I, I'm assuming full control. I'm assuming full control. Let's get in there, boys. Hell yeah. That's the spirit. See, that's what I wanted. That's all I wanted. Random boys! <laughs> uh, it's not even a burn drive. It's a uh, cavalry charge. Charges forward while weapons fire 50% faster and armor and hull damage are halved, but with limited maneuverability. So it's even better. Even better. Oh, Monker can fly that for us. Details. Mm-hmm. Indeed, these are details. What else do we have out here? I don't know. We do need to get ITU. Oh, that would be great. That would indeed be great. I mean, we have we have quite a fleet now. Quite a fleet. Uh, that's the... These two are still being operated. Something like that. Lots of tiny chips that we're gonna be getting rid of uh, sooner rather than later. And of course, then we have these boys. I'm still flying that. All right. Uh, let us drop all of this in here. All of the good stuff. Now would be the time to go find a place we can colonize. We have the Synchrotron Core. Oh, we actually have... Oh, no, that's Stellar Reflector Core. I thought we might have a proper Nanoforge. We don't. We have a lot of these VPCs that we can install. We have the Tectonic Attenuator. The Graded Forge Template. Lots of, lots of stuff. Not many cores. But it is what it is. And I have a feeling we have a few too many ships that we really... Really, really don't need right now. I might actually... Oh. What do we have in here? We have a Hermes in here? What the hell do we have a Hermes in here? I have no idea. I'm actually gonna store... Some of these in here. That one as well. Spectral. Hammer's gonna stay since they were named. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, those can be stored in here. The little boys. Fair. Now, let's see if... Uh, actually, you guys, do you have any fuel for us? Fuel is suddenly gonna become an issue. And supplies, while they're not the cheapest, we'll take them. And now it really would be the time to go kill something big. We do a ram build, yes. Yes, you can. Uh, hello, friends. 
Fuel. Supplies. Thank you. More fuel. Thank you very much. Anybody at the bar? It's interesting. Uh, delivery. I'm not going to do that right now. All right. Uh, we still know about some cool stuff out there, but I want to go kill like a big pirate station like that thing. This thing is not big. Three days remaining. Of course, it's three days remaining. That seems that seems decent. That pirate station. Let's go. Let's go do it. Although, let's be real. Now would be the best time to go find where we can settle instead of flying around and spending more money that we can get just using this ship. Or because we're, we're going to be spending a lot of supplies and just keeping these two ships that we just got operational and not guzzling too much uh, fuel. Oh well. Gemini, VA, and Iron Shell are fighting HMI. Oh, poor HMI. Let's go out here. Let's stop wherever we can stop along the way. Let's stop there at VA, refuel there, and then we go onwards. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill some bigger things that we can. This ship, pirates, come down. Come down, pirates. We're not fighting you. Ooh! ISS Focus Repaired Increased Maintenance. Which one is that? Oh, this one! Hey! Nice, dude! No longer increased maintenance. I'll take that. That is 0.2 supplies per day down. I love to see it. You love to hear it. You are going back home. It's fine. And we're gonna drop in here. Into the Forgotten Path. What a name. These guys are edgelords, aren't they? Alright. You guys better have some more fuel. I think last time these guys had basically everything. Everything and everything. Now they have, of course, fuel deficit and supply deficit, for fuck's sake. Who died? But you have to have that. How about the other place? The other place might have some stuff for us. Oh, you don't even have a station over here? It's kind of sad, you know? Alright. This one, this one is fine. Actually, we don't necessarily need the supplies. We're just gonna take the fuel. Thank you, boys. Monthly income is definitely much lower now that we have like 2,000 more crew than we had before. For sure. All right, uh, continue that way. We have a clear path. Clear path and then we go... Uh, I guess after that we could go check those research station and the mining station that we know about then we drive home then we leave the big ships behind and we do exploration i think that could work for the best we do exploration we find a place where we can settle and then we settle i mean we could actually settle in the core worlds is this the station this might be the station Holy shit, it's Shrimpton! Shrimp, thank you for the raid. Let's freaking go, appreciate that. Hello Raiders, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, we're just uh just having some fun with Star Sector. Which is a beautiful game, by the way. Uh let's grab the two big ships. Let's grab these dudes and these dudes to try test them out. Let's go. Zoom, zoom. Shrim, how was uh, how was your uh, how was your stream? What did you stream today? Hey, Poil. Shrim died so many times. 
Was she playing uh, the the Kniggit again? The the hollow Kniggit? <laughs> Hello, Sekoid. How's it going? Welcome to the stream, my friends. Hey, Ida. Because here he's skating off his head. Look, I'm going for the space pirate look, okay? It's all about that RP. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's why I have uh, Baby Yoda over here helping me out with this stuff. She did play the Hollow Knight and crushed two boss fights. I would say that's that's probably good, right? You know that, that I've not said anything about your hair? I did not notice that. Excuse me, why did you not say anything about my hair? Is my hair not... Uh, Consider it uh, worth talking about? Is that what you're trying to say over here, buddy? Because uh, I don't know how I feel about that. So I didn't load the stream before the raid? Were you supposed to? You weren't supposed to, you're fine. You're doing just, just good, shrimping. Shrimp, I hear you were the best at Hollow Knight once again. And I gotta say, I, uh, I I gotta admit I'm just uh, I'm just happy that I know you because uh, there's not many people who are as good at playing computer games as you are so you know just happy baby Yore is something for sure hell yeah hell yeah it is did we kill stuff starlight tempest don't kill yourself get out there we're styling it out. My stream is going pretty nice. Thank you. We made progress today. Dude, shrimp. Good shit. Good shit. I'm I'm proud, because I saw you last week when you were apparently struggling when we raided you. You you were not having fun with that boss. And I gotta admit, Hollow Knight definitely wouldn't be uh, a game that I would want to play. Because, uh, let's be real, I would probably get slightly upset, and uh, then I would die. Slightly upset, of course. Nothing major. But slightly. I beat that Hornet boss on a couple of tries. Hell yeah! That's good to hear. Alright, we definitely have to take some more screenshots of this, because it's just... All the stuff flying in. Yummy. Screenshots. Let's go. Hey! Got him! Got him. Easy money. Just lacking the fast fingers. Are you saying something about my fingers, Ido? My fingers are very fast. I'll have you know. Uh, in fact, they were named the fastest fingers. This side of the Alps. That's how it is. Horny boss. Hey! Yoda, don't fall down, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, level up. Let's go. Uh, rain specialization. And let's make that one elite. And now we get ITU, which is great. Big great. We can actually add ITU to some of the ships, and that's gonna gonna be big big oh, this from fingers in the west <laughs> uh no no i did not say fat fingers excuse me my fingers ain't fat they are just well rounded all right well rounded is the is the word i choose and you're not telling me different sorry sorry this place it's got pollution Sad, but I think it's got some scattered ruins. Modded ore, sparks or diffuse volatiles. So not very good, but ruins. Ooh. So if we had a corrupted nano forge, we could actually get some more stuff. It's kind of cold. Ooh, cool. Oh, we can repair a ship. Does this repair D mods or something? Uh, repair. Holy shit! Look at that! We repaired a D mod on this this big boy. 
That is actually pretty cool. And there's a lot of food that we're not gonna use. And there's a heavy armor and VPC. Oh, that is actually really nice. River just got its home mods repaired. Or, well, you, you get the idea. D mod. That's very nice. Extra pad and extra bounce. Shut up, Ida. Nobody asked you nothing. Uh, is that a... Do we have a bounty out here? Sorry, bounty. This thing only 150, huh? Abundant volatiles, abundant ore. Interesting. You can use it without nanoforce to remove demods. So you can use it with one and still keep the nanoforce to repair more demods. Oh, so it's, it doesn't use it. It doesn't actually use the nanoforge? That's actually really good. Oh, it's so close. Yoda, don't fall down. We're trying to catch catch the pirates. We caught the pirates. Alright, let's go kill the pirates. We're gonna deploy you, you, uh, you and you. You and you. Maybe. Go. Kill. Weom weom. That is very nice. Let's go. Slay. You will you will never get this, Mr. Greyhound. You will never get this. Alright, he, he got this. Because I was uh, otherwise preoccupied. But you will definitely never get this. Get out of here, silly drones. You know what? I gotta admit, I'm really enjoying uh, flying this. Starlight Cabal little shipsies. Usually I would uh, I would go and fly the bigger ship out there. Oh, everybody just go full assault. What is there not to love? I would usually go fly the bigger ships. But I gotta admit, these are very fun to just dab on everything. Oh, you're trying to escape? Oh, how about that? None of that. Tempest is ridiculously powerful, from what I know. Yeah, you, you could say so. I mean, you could definitely say so. I mean, also, if you if you get if you get caught in a unfortunate situation, you're probably gonna get yourself killed, right? But you are so fast, you're not supposed to get yourself caught in a unfortunate situation. And then you can just dab on these bigger ships and keep on dabbing on them until they're dead. And it goes boom. Ooh, this bad boy is not looking too well either. Uh, although one of our bad boys is taking some serious damage there. Maybe uh, me telling them to go full on reckless and just just crash everything it wasn't the best idea potentially but we got him boys we got him oh that decimator ran away pursued him uh you get him good job you want to recover anything no 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 oh, we got uh we got some stuff this is flux conduits take that Thank you very much. We'll take also all of that. And uh, I believe we have a bunch of people who can level up. Salvage man, Steve Salvage man can level up. And same for Mr. Mobile. Do you have... Uh... Get you more Comet Readiness for that little ship. I think that would work well. What do we give Steve? Gunnery implants? Yeah. Get you gunnery implants for that. And then... Uh, oh! If anybody wants a uh, captain in a ship, we still have one that is not being named over here. Definitely. Uh, I wanted to give you... Wait. What did I want to give you? You already have Strike Commander. Mm. Yinru, do you want a character, buddy? 
If you want a character, let's go. I'm gonna give you a point of defense. I'm gonna give you that. And that. Do you know if you want in? Let me know what you want your um, captain to be named. And what you want your ship to be named. That was a long lecture. Cry, you're back too soon. Get out of here. What are you doing here? Captain Yunru and the ship. Both. Captain and the ship. You can, you can choose both. Alright, let's get out of here. Fine, I will leave. No, no, it's fine. You can stay. You can stay around. It's fine. I'll allow it. Ship, nothing to see here. All right. Perfect. Nothing to see here. Perfect. And the captain said, "Yunru." Right. Right. Relentless. Gilmer, do you want to name a ship Relentless? Let's see which ship hasn't been named yet. We have Karmaji, we have River, Lapsus Lazuli, Coconut, nothing to see here, Thief, Butt, Beep's Revenge, Armorum Ferris, Melty Cheese. This one hasn't been named yet. We can we can name this uh, this uh, Condor. Relentless. I like it. We have Misery, we have Istanbul, we have Hammer. And then these are, yeah. All right. Okay, we have eight hundred k. Where are you hiding? Dwarf primary. It's in our way, you know. You can stop over here. It should be in there. Hello, Shogun. How's it going? Thought you were joking, but look at you in space in my sector. Also, it feels like we just got a. A leak right there. How's it going, my friend? Shogun. Boys, if you don't know, Shogun over here is the expert when it comes to uh, actually playing Star Sector. Not that he's better than me, but, you know, he, uh, he likes to think that he knows stuff about Star Sector. And if he actually decides to stream or make a video, then his streams and or videos are awesome. Alas... He doesn't do that often because he's a slacker, so, you know. That's why you guys are stuck with me and not able to watch him. Just saying. Carbage and Arrival are placeholder names. I don't actually get the recruiter character thing. That's fine, buddy. You named the ship. As I told people to name the ships, you were the first one to decide to name the ship. And that's why you have the ship names in. They don't need to be temporary. Why am I saving again? God damn it. I'm more of a pure warfare in Star Sector. I'm literally streaming the game today. Uh, I mean, you you told me that you are, yes. That doesn't mean that you actually will be, you know, knowing you. Oh yeah, we're definitely having some memory leaks. We're gonna have to redo the game. Oh, you're a tiny little boy. And you're hiding near a system that has ruins. Or a place that has ruins. Well, you will now die. Let's deploy you and you and you and you. And you. And you. That's all we need. Go. It's me, Hyper. Screw up my name, but still <laughs> remember me. I remember Hyper, the new name is definitely different. Is it though? It feels the same to me. Look, it's... Actually, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it because it's, it's 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 too much. It's local multiplayer mod, so we can see just how good or bad Shogun is. Well, that actually would be fun, wouldn't it? Oh, I didn't notice that you actually have bigger ships over here. Sorry. Let me deploy that thing then. I really didn't notice that you had some. Uh, some uh, more uh, capitalizing potential. It was a prank on a 
best friend streamer. Many of the community changed their names. It was tangent and we sucked. Stuck for three months. No pronounce. Let me help. The best shabambler. The best shabambler. Something like that, right? I totally got it. I'm a pro at this, by the way. I pronounce everything correctly. No questions asked. Oh, you like EMPs? Oh, you don't like EMPs? Slay. Hello. You, we played before. Get him. I will chase you down to the ends of the earth. To the ends of the earth. You hear me? Oh, sorry. We destroyed that thing. No, no, no. You're not escaping. You're not escaping me. Stay here. Well, fine. Fluxing myself out wasn't a part of this plan. Are we, are we, are we, are we there yet, boys? Are we doing fine? I guess we're doing fine. I'm a scat man. <laughs> Take care, shrimping. Have fun. Thank you for raid. I really appreciate that. And boys, if you if you don't know shrimping yet, you should go follow her. She's an awesome streamer as well. Trust. You can believe me on that one. You definitely want to go check her out. Hey, you did. Perish. Perish. Uh, so there are two big boys are here. That's really pretty much all that's left. Fire the lasers, indeed. Learn the link for a cooperative multiplayer combat in the mods channel. Uh, you do that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Like, I, I've, I've been trying to um, get Shogun to play some stuff with me. Because he always is like, yeah, you never want to play with me. And then it's it's him who never wants to play with me, actually. Uh, but we were, we were in fact, talking about... Is this, another, is this another raid? Hey, Foxy Boy, how's it going? Thank you for the raid, buddy. Appreciate it. Boys, if you don't know, our boy Fox over here is the best Genshin streamer there is out there. Appreciate that. Lucy, thank you for uh, the bitty as well. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Let's go. How's it going, Raiders? Welcome to the stream. Hello, Fox. It's fine. Don't blame Shogun. Never quite sure when he is serious until his bull. Who says this half smile? Who is this? I don't know who you're talking about. You're talking about me? I'm always serious business. Serious business. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait. Let, let's be. Let's be serious business. Serious business. Shogun's like my best friend. No, he's my best friend. What are you talking about? He's totally my best friend. Okay, it hurts looking through this thing at the screen right now. About you. Yes, yes. As it is only appropriate. All part of my plan. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh, dude. He is my best friend. In fact... I wanted to take him on my tractor and fly around with my tractor. And when I say fly around, I mean drive around, okay? I offered him to take him on my tractor and so far he's not very enthusiastic about that, unfortunately. The glasses help? No, I know you're all business. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm all business. Alright, ultra rich or extensive ruins. We're all about those extensive ruins. Oh! Oh! So, apparently, this is something about Diable or Kadur. Um, let's do it for uh, Diable. I don't like us that much. So let's see if we can, uh, yeah, increase the reputation with them. We got solar shielding, one gamma core, and the rest is meh. Drop the food, boys. Who needs food? We don't need food. We don't need no foodstuffs. Internet fight. <laughs> business. Business. I'm not sure if you want to rest the money on me I made on the street. I want to make a movie. Uh, let's make a movie, buddy. But it's not the kind of movie you're thinking about. Alright. 
You know what? I'm not going for that minor supply cache. Not flying to the sun for that. What do we have out here? Well, we'll go for this minor supply cache, though. Kingfisher. No. No, that's fine. This is this is this is fine. This is okay. It's on the surface of the sun. Why am I being greedy? No. No, no, don't even stop. Don't look don't even look at it. Just go. Okay. We're safe, boys. I didn't see it. Alright, uh, let us go back to Corvus, drop the big ships, because I want to do some exploration. I want to go and find a place where we can settle, and the big ships are definitely too expensive to keep them around while we fly. I gotta admit, they do look dope, these two. Especially now that it doesn't have any demons left. Fucking good. Might as well be walking in the sun. Well, let's, let's just say this, that you guys are all walking on the sun. When you're in the presence of me, I shine bright like a diamond, shine bright like a diamond, or a sun. It's almost like you are walking on the surface of the sun. No set, settling blood nomads for life? No, 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 no. We, we shall settle. That's the whole point of this. That's why I have all those mods that let you build your own, like, stations and bullshit. So we can settle and just just do some crazy shit with that. Because I've never used those before. So I wanna I wanted to play around with those. And we can do that. I mean, we could even go into, like, Duzak or uh, Penelope Star and just do our own shit there. I have no idea how you, do, how you even start doing that, but... You know, we could try. There's a snail class frigate over here. And there's a Lieutenant Queen Europa. Awesome. Snail class. What a name. What a name. We're not gonna take it though. I jump in here. Just wait till night and pick it up. Okay, Yoda. Calm down over there, buddy. You're, you're, uh, you're kind of crowding me, buddy, right now. Let's, let's calm down. Need to check the mods again. Need to check the mods again. Uh, you guys are best friends, aren't you? I, f I totally forgot about that. Okay, how many best friends there are out here now? That seems, uh, seems a bit too much. A bit too much, boys. Calm, calm your tits. Uh, let us... Leave the guns behind. Leave the guns behind. And let us leave these big boys behind. You want to take anything out of it? No, I think this fleet is just fine. The way it is. Uh, we can... We can... Have uh, Steve the Salvage Man fly this once again. And I guess we're going to have Monker fly this. For now. Yeah, this is gonna be our fleet. We're gonna go out there and we're gonna check stiff. Hello friends, we formed our own club. Terraforming mods you have, as long as Duzak and or Penelope Star have good resources, it's actually better in the long term to settle there. Indeed. That's what I was thinking. Oh. Oh no, don't do it like that. Come on, I forgot to drop the people and now we can't fly. Hey guys, don't worry about it. Okay, uh, drop all the people over here. I should be able to touch the cargo pods and get these people back. Hell yeah, easy money. And... Well, do we need any of these resources? Maybe, potentially. For now, drop everything in here. Actually, give me that. We'll sell that. I don't need organics. We'll sell the organics. That's decent. Fuel, we are light on. How are we doing uh, on, on crew? We're fine on crew, right? Yeah, yeah. It's fine. That's fine. If we're in our own club, it's very exclusive. Can I join? 
like to join. Uh, well, let's actually go check Duzak. We haven't been there. We know that in Penelope Star, there is a desert planet, right? It is a desert world, 125 only. It does have sparse rare ore and ore, so it's not very good when it comes to that. It's a desert world and we, we can terraform it, right? If I uh, remember correctly. I haven't checked any of the other, but you know, like volcanic worlds and all that stuff could have some good stuff. Potentially. Let's go, let's go check the Duzak first. And there's this dude next to the toxic world in Duzak. Oh. Let us, let us go buy some fuel before we go. Oh, hegemony, how do you do? I would just like to have some stuff from your black market. You can have that. I'll have this. And I'll have that. And I'll have... All your supplies. All your supplies. Thank you. That's all I needed. Don't you dare fucking interdict me. Bastards. Well, we have ships big enough now to protect our our home if anybody comes knocking at least for a while is that part of duzak or is that part of dog star and dog star over there is where our home faction is so we're basically neighbors yeah we're definitely getting some leaks out there don't fly into the sun buddy what is wrong with you so, Gash Giant, Barren World, and what was the other one? Toxic World. You can build in the, uh, like those, those stations you can build, you can build them in the, in the, in the ring round, right? If I, I remember correctly. That would be kind of cool. 225 over here, who knows, maybe there's a floating, uh, thing. Nope, Trace Volatiles, so not, not a very good place. Definitely not. How about this barren world? 175, moderate ore. And let's be real, pirates really don't need this. You can build a mining station in any asteroid ring. There you go. Uh, what exactly do I need for it? To start doing it? Yeah, Duzak does not look too good. That's for damn sure. Penelope Star, uh, might be better. Oh, hello. Forgot about you. Mm. Go, second in command. Kill. Oh, one escaped. Take that bounty in a story point, easy. The ship abilities, if you're wondering. Ah! Okay. Start new haircut. Shut up, dude. Modded ore. So, if I fly in here, is it gonna shove over here? Let's follow me. Remote survey. Stress. Cap this. Transverse. Prediction. And, uh, not part of this, right? Oh, do we have like new ones that are not assigned? Oh, yes, 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 you're, of course, you're correct. They're just not assigned. So we have construct Astropolis station in orbit around a planet or moon, expense 500,000 credits, 1,000 crew, 250 heavy machinery, 1,000 metals, and 250 transportonics for constructions. Okay. Construct mining station, an asteroid belt or asteroid field, 100,000 credits, 1,000 crew, 250 machinery, 1,000 uh, metals, 250 transportonics. Mining stations have moderate ore and rare ore resources. Then we have siphon station. This is around a gas giant. Ooh. That's nice. And the last one is. Colonize Abandoned Station. Okay. 
Wait, there is an abandoned station, if I remember correctly, in Penelope Star, right? If I remember correctly, there should be one in Penelope Star. You will be up to three astropoly around a planet, by the way, and they're useful the planet has great resources, but literally shit hazard rating. Okay. Some stations take after their gas giants volatile rating. Okay. Um, I'm learning all the things. Now, I did edit the files in such a way, because I think that otherwise you can only build, like, one... One, um... A mining station in the ring, right? I modded it in a way that I think I can build three in the same system. I always hated how the abandoned stations took up real estate. Did you, though? Did you? Some abandoned stations are too dangerous and are volatile to call us. Penelope Star's one is one. Oh, okay. I mean, we can... We can check very soon. Very soon. Oh! Look at that! Coconut repaired increased maintenance. That's last D mods for you, Coconut. Only three D mods left. You'll love to see it. It would be nice if you could just blast it. So... That's the... Telapolis? Telapolis. We're gonna, we're gonna survey all these worlds. We're gonna see uh, what and what we have out here. And these also have two rings, so we could we could build stuff in the like inner ring or something like that. It does have... Only... Oh no, it is three stable locations. That one was hiding out there, so that's good. It has three stable locations. Let's see these bombarded, bombarded worlds. 175. We can... Like, we, we can build stuff to remove the hazards on a planet, right? And make it even better. Although, for the first planet that we have, it would be nice to... have an actual decent planet. Ultra-rich ore. So we could have really good mining on this Baron Bombarded. Which only has 175. It's not that bad. That one's not half bad, indeed. Need the place from orbit, it's the only way to be sure. <laughs> yeah. They mostly come at night. Mostly. 175 on uh, this bad boy. Who knows? Maybe there's a floating uh, continent. Nope. Trace volatile, so not very good. Uh, so, this station. Uh, it's gonna burn into the atmosphere of uh, Telepolis within the 500 cycles. Docking the station is not advisable. So, I'm guessing if we, we go over here and we look at uh, Bandit Station. Yeah, it's in a state of extreme disrepair and it's not a viable target for colonization. Alright. Fair enough. So we can't grab that thing. Check this Quiet Volcanic then. It almost feels like cheating if uh, if we just live this close to the core systems. I don't think any of these places have ruins though, so we can't have that going for us. It's unfortunate. 200 over here. Poor light, tectonic activity. We do have the machinery to deal with the te tectonic activity. So we can use that to bring this down to 175. It's got plentiful volatiles, which is great. Ultra rich ore. Rich rare ore. Pretty good. Literally live in a core systems in a frozen giant. Well, because you're Shogun, right? Could be good. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Put mining on that. Look at that. Plus two transportoning ore. Plus three ore. Plus two volatiles. Uh, I have a feeling maybe uh, some other uh, factions might not like it that that we do that much good stuff over here. Let's go check these volcanic worlds and all that stuff. I needed the independents wouldn't trade and needed to make ships. The independents, man, they're the worst. Wait, uh, in which playthrough is that, Shogun? 
So you can build in the industry temporary counteract uh, things like poor light or bad temperature. Yes, yes. This is this is correct. Uh, that's what I said earlier that we do have the anti-tectonic uh, machinery that we that we found that we can use to boost that. Stream one. Remember when I raided the merchants and that faction raided me? Oh, that thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. Atmosphere, tectonic activity, extreme heat. 200 over here. Ultra rich ore. Ultra rich rare ore. As you would expect from a from a volcanic world. So we we can we can have some decent mining places out here. Yeah, I know. So this one over here is the sparse ore and rare ore. It is it is a desert place. This you know it's 125 only. So this would be this could be like our first starting planet, or maybe maybe that one down here, maybe the cryovolcanic. I don't know. The good thing is that we have all stable locations. Let's check that gas giant and toxic world and barren world. Toxic worlds are not always the the worst either. So we can just colonize every every planet in the system. And be like, hell yeah, boys, this is this is our world now. That's what I want to do. Just have some extreme, extreme planets out here. Okay, that's probably not good. Bye. Fuck off. I wasn't aware that there's a bounty in here. I would have brought something better. You're gonna you're gonna prevent me from uh, checking this out. I could kill you with my actual fleet. No, bad boy. Bad boy! God damn it. Go away. You gonna let me be now? So you can quickly check this? He could, but then he would lose it all in hookers and blow. I really don't understand why would you say such a thing. Everybody knows that I'm a nice person. I would never do that. Toxic atmosphere and extreme cold over here. Trace volatiles, sparse ore. So that one is not very good. Stop it! Go fly a kite or something. Just wanna... Just wanna check these bad boys out and don't wanna use any more points. Playing around with you. Totally going dark. They will never see us. You will never see me. I'm the sneakiest bastard in this side of the sector. Yes, yes. Oh, look at that. Just 150 on those Baron. They just want to be friends. They just want to hug, right? Monarch or so. Nothing special. Just watch, there's gonna be a floating continent on this one. Got high gravity, that's all. Diffuse volatiles, Ugh. So... Stop it! I'll come back and kill you. Oh, thief repaired structural damage! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Um, let's go, just one D mod remaining. Good job, thief. So if we if we look at the system now, we have the volcanic world that has the ultra rich rare and ore deposits, a two hundred percent hazard. Then we have the one hundred twenty five desert world, so that one would be like easy starting money. Or it's it's bad for mining though. On desert world, can you do farming on desert worlds or not? Because then remember. Then we have the Baron Bombarded, just, you know, nothing special, but doable. Same with this Baron Bombarded. This one has ultra rich ore, so that's decent. These two are 175, which is pretty nice. Needs farmlands, but you have two separate mods, which can add farmlands later. Okay, okay. good, good, good. Then we have the Toxic. This one is not very good. It's got not the best mining. We have the gas giant with 150, which got which got uh, the high gravity, diffuse volatiles. 
We have the barren world, the Doris barren world with moderate ore, no atmosphere, 150 only. Then we have the Telepolis gas giant with trace volatiles, which is unfortunate. I would really wish that one of these would have volatiles, but we do have plentiful volatiles on the cryovolcanic. And we do have the, actually, we do have the thing to fight the poor light as well. Tectonic activity, poor light, extreme cold. Uh, let's go back to Corvus and let's look at those things we have over there. Because I think we can we can deal with all of these things. And of course, we have three stable locations, which is, you know, it's great. I'm, I'm kind of thinking of building uh, or starting our first colony on that cryovolcanic world. It just seems pretty fucking decent. A decent place to be. I mean, if you can get the mining going, wouldn't that be just great? It's a predator. No. Let's take that. And what else is floating out here? It's not a predator. It's like they are predating on something. Uh, chorus. That's where we're going. Don't even need the thing to permanently uh, fight the poor light. There's an industry which does so. I thought that you needed that thing to put into the industry. For the industry to do it well or something like that. Let's, uh, let's go read about it or something, shall we? Can't think down terraforming, not boggled. Alright, well... Let's take a look at this. So... Uh, I need to find out. So we have the Stellar Reflector Core. Uh, so this is... Capable of drastically altering the amount of light that reaches a planet's surface. These enormous orbital mirrors can be just as easily used to shade a planet as to increase the, its illumination. So we have this. This says, allows permanent manipulation of a uh, planet's light levels. Candidon has industry which disassembles itself once it's done, so the cost isn't factor afterwards. Alright. But yeah, we have this Stellar Refractor Core, which would fight the poor lights. And we have the Tectonic Attenuator. So, this filament is captured and disperse any large-scale magma flows, preventing earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, allows permanent removal of a planet's tectonic activity. Bottle is an industry which you place down, which negates the effect, but has a constant cost. Alright. So, these two that we have are canting tongues, as you said. So, if you use these two, we can just permanently remove bad light, and tectonic activity, bringing it down to 150 hazard rating, which I think would be pretty good, right? Yeah, and then we have this is for if we have if we build a supercomputer, because we do have a whole a cold weather, then we can put this into a supercomputer. That's kind of cool, right? You know what? Tomorrow, when we come back to Star Sector. We're gonna start colonizing, boys. It is time. We're gonna go into Penelope Star, but we are now at three hours, which means it's time to end the stream.